Welcome, y'all. Doing some more work on the old battle scooter. And what I've decided that it was uh, time to check the piston, see how good the rings are doing and whatnot. And of course, this, you know, if you're wondering what motor this is, it's, it's, the scooter is a 2004 Vento R3i. It's a two stroke. Oh, I don't know the model number. It's some weird one. But it's two stroke. So we'll just get right down to it. Getting this motor prepped to go back into the scooter again. Finally fixed the transmission issues. And I remember from last time I had the cylinder off that the piston needed rings. Well, we get to looking at it. Yeah, see all that blow by? Well, if I get the stupid camera to focus. There you go. Look at all that blow by. And as far as scoring, there's a little bit of scoring, but not too bad. Just the typical. Not bad at all. Of course, this is a 49cc engine. Uh, that means this here is uh, 40 millimeters. The 40 millimeter piston with uh, the 10 millimeter, I think. Yeah, 10 millimeter wrist pin and bearing. There was uh, the 10 millimeter wrist pin and the 12 millimeter wrist pin, the two different ones. This is the 10 millimeter. Then we got the jug or the cylinder, which doesn't look too bad. You know, it's got a little bit of scoring, which is typical for an engine that's a little on the mileage side. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get eh, a little bit in there. Can't really see it too well, but there's a little bit, but not bad. It's normal. It's really not bad. But I got to looking and remembering that uh, I have a parts engine over here that is out of a, I'm not sure what year, but it's the, the Yamaha Zuma, the one with the big tires. Well, it is the same engine, but the transmission is the long transmission. Transmission is completely different, but the engine's the exact same, just about. Except for, you know, the intake's a little different. And I noticed that the, the, the head is a little different. But it's the exact same 10 millimeter wrist pin. Exact same piston. Pretty much the same cylinder or jug. So here's the cylinder. So it says, yeah. Yamaha but it is pretty much the exact same cylinder it's a little bit different but not by much and if you look at this one if we can get a good good look here in the light this one's like brand new this motor didn't have very many miles on it but let me some stuff out of the way we got the Zuma or not Zuma uh, we got the uh, the Vento head, or jug, and the Yamaha jug. Look at that. They are exactly the same. Same exhaust ports, everything's the exact same. They are the same height. But if you notice, they're just a little bit different on the fins. This one here's got a little bit of a thinner fin. This one's thicker. This one, I think, has one more fin. But other than that, they're pretty much the same. The radius here, where it's got that curve right here, it's just a little bit different, which really won't hurt nothing. So I can flip it over. All the ports are exactly the same, but if you notice, the, uh, the skirts are actually a little bit different design. They're a little bit, they don't have this bevel like what these have. See that little bevel right there? It doesn't have that big of a bevel, which means the, the skirts are a little, a little bit thicker at the ends. Not really no big deal. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Clean all that carbon out. But they're exactly the same cylinder head, pretty much. Now we get to the pistons. We have the Vento piston. 
the Yamaha piston. Exactly the same piston. 10, 10 millimeter wrist pin and bearing. Exact same ports. I mean, they're identical almost. The only difference is the Yamaha piston has this little indicator. The little arrow, and it says 4DY. And the arrow points to the exhaust port. This one, uh, yeah, it's got an arrow. That's it. Just an arrow. But that is, they're pretty much the exact same piston. You know. The, uh, looks like on the, uh, ports here, looks like these ports might be just a tad bit bigger. If you look at them, these ports are just, stupid camera. Yeah. These ports on this piston are just a little bit bigger. They look like they're, uh, you know, they've been ported just a little bit. Which would be a good thing, actually. So this is the piston that's going in it. I'm putting the Yamaha jug on it. But... The head is where it's going to be different. Go here to the heads. The heads are completely different. Alright. Flip them over. We have the Vento head. The Yamaha head. If you notice, the Vento head, a little bit thicker veins. Yamaha head, thinner. But got you know, probably a couple more still in it like one more vein or two but boat patterns the same radiuses are about the same roughly now here's the difference or then if you notice that the the heads are thicker and you put them on their side there's a difference the vento head has more veins I mean, they're exactly the same thickness, but they, they've incorporated more air cooling veins. The Yamaha doesn't. Now, here's the big difference. You still see the markings here for Yamaha. You see the, the chamber? The combustion chamber difference? See how it's got that little valley right there? And it's got that nice bevel. Come over here to the Vento. And it's just a small little goes down and then bevels in. Let's see if I get a good angle on it. Yeah. See how it doesn't bevel very much and it drops down. Then the Yamaha. You can really see that how much deeper it goes in that valley. This one's a higher compression head. Stupid fucking camera. Yeah, this one's more, it's higher compression than this one. Not to mention, this one will cool better because it's got more veins and it's just a better built head compared to this one, which is lightweight. So I'm going to go with the Vento head, which will give me the higher compression. Basically, it's going to be just about the same, except it's got, you know, a tad bit better uh, quality jug and a little bit better piston. But it's a new piston. It's basically low mileage piston, really good shape compared to my high mileage one that's got all that blow by. But this is the head I'm using, the high compression head, which is why the, the Ventos are much better or faster. I'll say right here. Along with the, uh, the Yamaha head, which will. Look like that. Yeah. And it's going to be a bit of a Frankenstein build. As you can tell, it don't line up like it's supposed to on the outside. I mean, most of it lines up. All this lines up, and you get over here, and this side is shorter on the jug than this. And same with over here. This side's shorter compared to that. Which is no big deal, because it's just veins. Just the, you know, yeah. Compared to put it back over here, which it all matches. It's like the cooling wasn't as good. Now I could run this. I'm 
still undecided which jug I'm gonna run. If I'm gonna run the Yamaha jug, or if I'm gonna run the Vento jug that's in still good shape. But I'm thinking about just running the uh, the Yamaha. To go by on for a while, and keep this in here for a spare. Cause not to mention it's got a vein right here that's broke. Because someone stuck a long ass bolt in the exhaust before I got the scooter and broke it. But yeah. And of course, it's going to get a big bore kit later on. This is just to get me by on so I can play on it, break it, whatnot. But yeah. Oh, quick tip on these pistons. These here you can't really screw up because they go in, you know, the. It's got the ports, but some of the others, like I said, the arrow points towards the exhaust. Another tip, if you don't have the arrow, if you look at the where the rings are, see where the gap is? I'm going to throw this camera, I swear. Get the camera to focus. Focus. Yeah, yeah you see that little pin right there. You come over to the other side, and there's the other pin. Uh, right there where your, your ring gaps are. Those go away from the exhaust. So this will be the intake side. So you got this over here where the gaps are, and this is the exhaust side. Arrow points to the exhaust. Always keep your rings away, or you'll tear rings up. Just a quick tip for you. But yeah. Okay. I'm about done messing with this damn camera because it pissed me off. But here's a quick little update on motor building. I'm gonna get back to work on this. Get this all back together. And hopefully next video you should see it running. Or at least painted. So, later.